Hey everyone, it's Morgan Yates, and I am so excited for today's video. It is taking place right here in the entryway to my house, which at the moment does not have much going on in it whatsoever, except for this mirror and this plant on the ground. Every time I walk into my house, it feels like I'm walking into like a blank apartment, just like it did when I toured it, when it was empty. <laughs> so for today's video, I have a little 24 hour room makeover video in the works. There's not a lot of floor space down here. There's not a lot of wall space. And I've wanted to personalize this space for the longest time, but just could not think of anything to do. But over the past few weeks, I've been thinking, I've been brainstorming because this is the space that like, not only guests enter, like this is the first thing you see in my house, but like, this is the space I walk into every single day. I feel like everywhere else in my house, I have so many elements that I love, like just looking at everything and like being in my space makes me so happy. And when I walk into my entryway, I want to feel at home. Like I want to feel that same way. And right now, as you can see, it's kind of just a blank entryway. At the same time, since this isn't an area I really like spend, spend time in, I did want to make all these upgrades affordably. And that brings me to today's video sponsor, Walmart, where most everything I'm using today is going to be from Walmart. I'm gonna have everything linked below. Please subscribe if you like this video and let's just hop into the makeover. So welcome to the entryway. It's a little echoey down here because there's just nothing down here. So the first thing I did when I started to brainstorm and shop around was actually make a little mood board on Canva. Um, just pairing a few different products together, seeing if they would match or not. You can see I have my little color scheme going there as well. And then thinking about what colors to incorporate down here, as you can see, we have these silver railings. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm not a big fan of all the, the like gray silver elements in this house. However, you know, it is what it is. I would in theory love to incorporate like a bunch of warm tones down here. Lately, my favorite interior design style has kind of been that like organic, look i don't really know what this is called i'm also no interior designer let me say it right now but just like the organic shapes like the wooden elements i would love to like bring that inspiration to this space however the silver kind of prevents me um, from using a bunch of those warm tones. So we're gonna be working with cooler tones down here. So one thing I knew I wanted down here was an entryway table that we we're going to pray fits because I measured it out, but this landing area, like coming around the staircase is a little bit tight. So we are going to cross our fingers. The entryway table I landed on was this one from Walmart because I did want to bring some kind of wooden element down here. It is kind of like a cooler toned wood. It's not too like saturated and warm. So it was really the perfect piece. And I found that at Walmart. If you want to shop any of these items you see in this video, I'm also gonna have them linked below. So this is the reveal. I don't know why I actually thought this was gonna come out even farther, which is what was worrying me about like this little entryway space, but I feel like it's the perfect size. I think this on the outside of the drawers is super cute. Um, and then if those just open, I don't know what I'm gonna put in there. This again, it came from Walmart and it only cost $104.50. I was looking at some similar entryway tables at other stores and they were in like the three to $400 range. So I think this is so affordable. I'll have it linked below again and we're gonna style it a little bit later. So the next main things I'm working with down here are the floor space and the wall space, both of which there's not a lot to go around, but to start with the floor, as we move throughout the hallway, you can see there's really not a lot of wall space here, especially since I already have this gold mirror here. I'm not gonna put anything on the wall there. This is like pretty low. So I've never been someone who owns a runner rug, but I picked one up. Again, it's from Walmart. It's from my favorite rug brand. All the rugs in my house are from them. I think they're so affordable and like thick quality rugs. Did a little test and I believe all of these Doors should open above the rug. They're a little bit lifted, so hopefully this will work out. I decided I wanted like pretty much the whole length of the hallway, probably starting around here. All right. So I believe the size I ended up going with is two feet and two inches wide by 10 feet long. And I know I wanted to incorporate some color as well. So again, working with the cooler tones, I chose a blue. So I definitely need to put some books down, which I will go get right now to start like letting this take shape a little bit. Then we'll be able to see it a little bit better. 
So if we ignore the books that I put on the corners to hopefully try to flatten this out a little bit before I wrap up the video, this is what it looks like. We also pass the door test. I'll give you a close up of the colors here and I think it just matches so well. Again, with like the railings, the gray doors, it's not like purely blue, which I like. We have some other colors in there. So I started it like about right here and it stretches that far. This rug cost $52 at Walmart. I love this brand of rug. All the rugs in my house are from this brand and there are a ton of them sold at Walmart like in this size and like every other size, lots of colors and patterns. As we work our way down the hallway, while we were redecorating the outside of this area, I thought we would maybe do a little upgrade to the inside of my laundry area. I can't call it a laundry room by any means. It is a laundry closet. As you can see, this is such a small space and I have just like my dryer sheets, detergent, things like that up top and at the bottom. It's really not possible to do a lot here, but I found these really cute wicker baskets from Walmart for a two pack, they were $46. And then there's just this fabric interior, which I think adds a cute touch as well. And I have two of these, easy enough, I'm just going to put the things in here to kind of streamline the look. not factor this in. I don't have as much room as I thought. Ah, I ordered the large size on purpose because I thought the small would be too small. So, all right, well you've seen the baskets. I'm gonna have to return these and get the smaller ones. Mission failed, it's okay. So for the time being, what I have done is organize my stuff into these bins. I'm just gonna tuck them away into my under the stairs closet. Because having all this stuff crammed in the laundry space does make it a little bit difficult to do laundry, so now this way I can just reach for what I need. Moving on to wall space. The main wall space I'm working with is this section right here, this little triangle. So we don't have the most room um, with the window. Like it's kind of framed by the windows and the railing, which is actually kind of nice. So I found a set of two prints that I'm planning to have one be vertical and one be horizontal. And this is what the prints look like. So they're both 18 by 24. I liked the simple design. Again, I went with wooden frames here. I was debating between like black or gold, but I thought, as I'm saying over and over with the railing and just everything else I thought would, would match. I also like the shapes. I feel like this is going with like that organic style that I like. And what I really love is that these aren't framed prints. They're actually framed canvases. So I have some other canvas art throughout my house that I really like. I think it just looks so upscale. Also with these being hung right by all the windows, since it's a canvas, there's not gonna be any glare off the glass of a frame. And again, just so affordable. They were $80 for a set of two which for art of this size, as well as especially being on a canvas, that is such a good deal. One thing I am now realizing is that they both actually have the hanging hardware only at the top, like to be hung like this. I believe I can use a hammer and like pry these out and just hammer them in to the other side. Ooh, okay, actually that came out really easily. This might be way less of a disaster than I thought it was gonna be. This one will go here. Not bad, are we feeling it? Again, just so pretty. To give you all the perspectives from like up at the top of the stairs landing. This is what it looks like. This is the straight in the door perspective. And I'm coming in from the garage door. This is what it will look like here. All right, so we are not just doing that. We are, I consider this the entryway since so it's like connected to the stairs. I'm gonna do a bit of a gallery wall up here. <laughs> I'm too short to tape all of this, so some of it looks crooked. Like without this tape there, there's just this little plant and I feel like it looks so short. Um, because there's just so much space, like such high ceilings. And it was such a process of trial and error until I've landed on something along these lines. So for the frames, I again was like thinking through what color do I want these to be? Um, and I landed on a wooden tone again. It's a little different than downstairs. These are far enough apart, you can't really tell. Also these like will come right up to this gold mirror. So I didn't want to do gold, like matchy matchy right next to each other or if the shade was a little bit off. And what I love about all of these as well is that they have huge mats. Tiny picture, big frame, you know what I mean? I don't know if I should buy just like some kind of artistic print set off of like Etsy or something, or 
if I want to use my own photos. If I use my own, I want to try to like probably still do like a neutral color scheme. Maybe black and white photos. <laughs> if you have ideas, let me know. But I just think a gallery wall that has these like really big mats will just make it look a lot more cohesive. Just a little bit more upscale than just like a bunch of cluttered photos next to each other. Like I feel like since the photo is so small, it's just gonna look a little bit better. So I'm gonna get to hanging these and I think it's gonna take a really long time. So I'm just gonna do a before and after. Let's get to it. <laughs> and here is the finished product. This was surprisingly easier than I thought it was gonna be to hang these. I fully credit having that tape up on the wall. And then I would like lay each picture over and measure the distance um, to the hooks. And then I would go to the wall and measure the distance, like make a little mark for where I'd put the nail. And here we have it. And then this is the up the stairs view. It is now time for the part that I'm so excited for, which is styling the entryway table. So I brought a few things downstairs. One element I know I want to have is a vase with like some pompous grass coming out. We got like a mix and match pack. We're gonna see how that looks. And for vases, I got this three pack of vases at Walmart. The other two of these are going to go other places throughout my house. My initial thoughts are that maybe this like greenish color would be pretty. I think these are just so cute. And for a three pack, they are only $35. And these are like heavy duty quality. Another thing I really wanted down here on this table was some sort of like lamp because all the lights down here are super bright It's just like all the overhead lighting so at night like sometimes when I'm hosting things and I have people over It either has to be pitch black down here when everyone's entering or it's like so bright when like upstairs It's like fun moody lighting. So I kind of want to be able to extend that down here However, I realized there is not a power outlet underneath this area So that wouldn't really work and then I just started googling about if battery powered lamps exist and I found some. I wanted this just in like the clear glass, or it wasn't clear, it's still this like textured pattern of glass, but it was out of stock. So I thought I would go with this like blue color again, kind of tying in the colors from the rug. So I'm gonna install this bulb and put in, it takes like AAA batteries. And then I just have some other random items to play around with. So let's do it. I've got some cleaning up to do from the pompous grass. Apparently you're supposed to spray this with hairspray to like keep it from shedding. But I feel like this is like pretty cute and simple. Again, I pulled a gray book to match the color scheme. I also wanted a candle down here since like when people enter your home again, having a nice scent is very nice as well, I feel like. So this is the candle, it's just a sheer jasmine scent and I got it at Walmart for $14. So for a really like big wide candle like this. I think that's a great deal. All right, we have made it to the reveal. Keep in mind that the rug is still a little wrinkly at the moment. As a reminder, this was the before. entryway makeover if you guys liked this video or if you have any feedback anything you would change like any ideas whatsoever i would really love to hear it if you want to see more room makeover videos coming up make sure you're subscribed to my channel because i have a couple more of those in the next few weeks again the products at walmart are going to be linked below and i will see all of you guys in my next video Hi.